Hey everyone, this video is about ER diagram for library management system or we can say re entity relationship diagram for library management system. So let's get started. The ER diagram is already created. So we will explain it is explain it step by step okay i've explained all the steps for you the entities the attributes the primary key multi-value attributes composite attributes and the relationships okay we will explain all of them so let's get started uh first of all we will come to the reader okay the one who is reading a book or the one who is would like to take a book or reserve a book in the library okay so the readers has the attributes of user id which is a primary key okay this sign means primary key and another attribute is the email and another one is the name name is a composite attribute with us which has the first name and the last name other attributes and the pool number another attribute is the pool number which is a multivalued okay the multivalued means that whenever two circles are around that so it means it is multivalued attribute with us and uh, the readers another attribute is address okay the address of the readers so now the um, relationship between readers and books first we will explain the attributes of books the books uh, um, uh, attributes okay price category edition time uh, title isbn okay it is a number and author number so these are the attributes of uh, um, books and isbn is the id okay primary key for uh, books okay so the attributes is one to many and here we have another entity it is associative entity okay so for example whenever the readers reserve a book okay so we are adding here the reserve date okay when he reserved the book and another attribute is that whenever it returns so the return date these are attached with this associative entity in the due date so it is one to many relationship our readers can uh, return or can reserve more than one box uh, so it is one to many relationship so now the relationship between box and publisher is that the publisher publishes the box okay the publisher has the attributes of publisher id it is the primary key this line okay uh, and the and year of publication in which year it has published and the name of the publisher okay so it is the publi uh, publisher uh, attributes and it is it has the relationship with the books a publisher can um, publish more than one books and the books must be published by one publisher uh, now um, let's come to the um, a readers versus the relationship of readers with staff okay uh, a staff can manage and keep track of readers okay so the relationship between staff and readers for money money to money relationship okay the staff has the attributes of name and staff id now the relationship between staff and books a staff maintain money books and a book is maintained by a staff okay one to money relationship now the staff can log in to the system and here is the authentication system password and login it's to check that uh, one to money uh, authentication system is done by money staff and then a st st staff can uh, log in once and uh, the reports the staff manage reports it means generate reports and see the reports and it is one to money relationship a staff can generate more reports a report is generated by a staff and the reports has the uh, attributes of user id uh, registration number book number and issue return issue or return when it has issued or return okay so it is all about the reports so it was a relationship between these entities for a library management system which we has reports staff readers books publisher and authentication these uh, entities and their attributes for them so if this video was helpful for you and uh, i'm requesting you to subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching